really did. <laughs> you really did scare me for a moment. <laughs> if you really just came for the cupcakes, I'd be super pissed. Watch your mouth. And that makes it official. Fuck you. <laughs> Welcome to the literature club. Uh, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remembers tonight's assignment. Write a poem in... Po uh, poem to bring to the next meeting so we all right can share. <laughs> Monica looks over at me once more. Josh, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. <laughs> yeah. Can I really impress the class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills? I already feel the anxiety welling up inside me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit chat as Yuri and Natsuki clean up their food. Hey Josh, since we're already here, do you want to walk home together? That's right, shithead and I never walk home together anymore because she always stayed after school for club. <laughs> sure, might as well. Yay! With that, the two of us depart the club room and make our way home. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the four girls. Salisbury steak. <laughs> Natsuki. <laughs> Yuri, and of course Monica. <laughs> will I, will I really be happy spending every day after school in the literature club? Perhaps I'll, ha I'll have the chance to grow closer to one of these girls. All right, I'll just need to make the most of my circumstances, and I'm sure good fortune will find me. I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. Oh, this is my favorite. Oh, pick words this is my favorite part of the favorite. game. <laughs> pick words that you think your favorite club member will like. Something good might happen with whoever likes your poem the most. So it gives you all these words, and you want to pick words that align with. First of all, pick, who's your favorite? Who's your favorite girl? Um, I. Yeah, the smart one, the cute one, and sicko mode. <laughs> is sicko mode the one I walk home? home? No, I'm just calling her that because that's oh. the... Who? <laughs> it, well, the way Samantha. that the game... The way the game's playing out, it makes me want to... You don't have, have to... Have had him like her. You don't have to pick clearly, her, though. But she clearly likes you. But she's, like, kind of annoying, though. You don't have to. <laughs> Everyone's annoying. You can pick whichever your heart desires. You and her are just friends. That doesn't mean you have to be more than that. Okay, well, look at the chests on these two. Oh, have you? Yeah, I was about to say, have you seen Yuri? Okay, so like. Personally, I'm how, a Yuri how, fan. How we go Yuri mode? Um, I mean, just pick some. Okay, so, well, I'm gonna kind of self insert here. Because <laughs> I think Yuri's the one that's the most like me. <laughs> so, like, smart, like, kinda. So, like, I think infallible would probably be a good one. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Um. Judgment? Uh, possibly, yeah. Or. Yeah. Yelp. Extraordinary. Or Heaven Sent. Heaven. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Determination. <laughs> Misery. <laughs> Inferno. Oh my gosh, every single one. Unrequited. No! Uh, what? No! That's a big word for you, Subrupted. <laughs> Embrace? <laughs> or. Incongruent. Yeah. Yeah. Vertigo? Yeah. Yeah. Uncanny. Yeah. Beauty? Mmm. Pain. Or bound. Pain. Oh. <laughs> Depression? Something, something's wrong with our, our... Depression. Um... Universe. Vitality. Lollipop! <laughs> I'm gonna say imagination. Papa? <laughs> or treasure. Um. Papa? Uh, I would say, yeah, either imagination or treasure. Unending. Unrestrained. After image. Okay. Horror. Yeah. She likes horror. <laughs> Tenacious. Contamination. 
intellectual existence. Massacre. I told you. <laughs> so, we only... We got like 18 out of 20 that were Yuri. So. Gang, gang. Hi again, Josh. Glad to see you didn't run away from us. <laughs> Now, don't worry. This might be a little strange for me, but at least I keep my word. I'm back at the literature club. I was the last one to come in, so everyone else is already hanging out. Thanks for keeping your promise, Josh. Shut up, fucking whore. <gasps> I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. I'll show you overwhelming commitment. Making you dive headfirst into liter- <laughs> Making you dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it. So you were about to dive headfirst into- Whoa! <laughs> hey, yo. hey yo, what do you mean by that? Whoa! <laughs> oh, that's right. <laughs> oh, come on, like, he deserves any slack. See, so you already told me you didn't even want to- I mean, Sinanahana told me you didn't even want to join any clubs this year. And last year, too. I don't know if you plan to just come in here and hang out or what. But if you don't take us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. Whoops. Natsuki, God, I was burping. Natsuki, you certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps her manga collection in the club room. <laughs> Natsuki finds herself stuck between saying Monica and <laughs> Manga is literature. Swiftly defeated, Natsuki plops back into her seat. Don't worry, guys. Josh always gives it his best as long as he's having fun. He helps me with busy work without me even asking. Like cooking, cleaning my room. How dependable. <laughs> Cinnamon Toast Crunch. <laughs> that, that's because... That's not an S. Shh. Snake skin. <laughs> that's, that's because your room is so messy, it's distracting. And you almost set your house on fire once. <laughs> is that so... <laughs> Damn, girl. You two are really good friends, aren't you? <laughs> I might be a little jealous. I'm just waiting until you hear my poem. Whoa. <laughs> How come? You and Josh can become good friends too. Uh, um. Strawberries. Nani. As you, <laughs> as usual, Solid Snake seems oblivious to the world, <laughs> to the weird situation she just put me into. <laughs> oh, oh. You even brought you something today, you know. Wait, see, so yeah, yeah. <laughs> eh? Me? Oh, um, not really. Don't be shy. It's really nothing. What is it? N never mind. Samantha made it sound like a big deal when it's really not. Uh, what do I do? Eh? I'm sorry, Yuri. I wasn't thinking. I guess that means it's up to me to rescue the situation. Hey, don't worry about it. First of all, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place. So any nice gestures from you is a pleasant surprise. Any It'll make nice me happy gestures. no matter- <sighs> It'll make me happy no matter what. Is that so? No! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I won't make a big deal if you don't want it to be. All right. Well, here. Yuri reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. I didn't want you to feel left out. So I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so it should keep your attention, even if you don't usually read. And we could, you know, discuss it if you wanted. This is... How is this girl accidentally being so cute? It's like a children's book. <laughs> she even picked out a book she thinks I'll like, despite me not reading much. Yuri, thank you. I'll definitely read this. 
I enthusiastically take the book. Yeah. Well, you can read it at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. Now that everyone's settled in, I expect Monica to kick off some scheduled activities for the club. But that doesn't seem to be the case. Uh, Salad Fingers and Monica <laughs> are having a cheery conversation in the corner. Yuri's face is already buried in a book. I can't help but notice her intense expression, like she was waiting for this, sh this chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki is rummaging around in the closet. I'm really curious to talk to Yuri a little bit more. But at the same time, I would feel bad for distracting her from reading. I catch a glimpse of the cover of her book. It looks like the same book that she lent to me. More than that, she seems to be on the first few pages. Oh. Crap. I think she noticed me looking at her. She sneaks another glance at me, and our eyes meet for a split second. But it only makes her hide her face deeper in the, her book. Sorry! I was just spacing out. I muttered this, sensing I made her uncomfortable. Oh, it's fine. If I was focused, then I probably wouldn't have noticed in the first place. But I'm just rereading a bit of this, so... That's a book that you just gave me, right? Mm-hmm. I wanted to reread some of it. Not for any particular reason. Just curious, how come you have two copies of the same book? Uh... Well, when I stopped at the bookstore yesterday... Uh, that's not what I meant. I mean... I just happened to buy two of them. Ah, I see. There's something fairly obvious here that Yuri isn't telling me. <laughs> <laughs> but I decided to let it go. She's trying to hit. <laughs> I'll definitely start reading it soon. I'm glad to hear... Once it starts to pick up, you might have a hard time putting it down. A very hard time. It's a very engaging and relatable story. Is that so? What is it about anyway? Well... Um... Yuri closes the book and scans her eyes <laughs> over, over the Corey, back. my friend, shit! <laughs> the book is titled Portrait of Markov. Markov. There's an ominous looking eye symbol on the front cover. Alright. I just wanted to make sure I don't accidentally give anything away. Basically, it's about this girl in high school who moves in with her long lost younger sister. But as soon as she does so, her life gets really strange. She gets targeted by these people who escaped from a human experiment prison. And while her life is in danger, she needs to desperately choose who to trust. No matter what she does, she ends up destroying most of her relationships and her life starts to fall apart. Why are we getting the- this is the entire, like, <laughs> back summary of the book. That's kind of- oh my god, I keep like thinking. That's kind of dark, isn't it? Yuri made it sound like it was going to be a nice story, so that- <laughs> So that dark turn came from nowhere. Ah. Uh, Yuri gently giggles all of a sudden. Are you not a fan of that sort of thing, Josh? No, it's not that. I mean, I could definitely enjoy those kinds of stories, so don't worry. I hope so. Yeah, I totally forgot that Yuri is into those things. She's so shy, reclusive on the outside but her mind seems to be completely different. It's just that those kinds of stories, they challenge you to look at life from a strange new perspective. When horrible things happen, not just because someone wants to be evil, but because they have their own goals or their own philosophy that they believe in. And then suddenly, when you thought you related to the protagonist, they're made out to be the naive one for letting their one-sided morals interfere with the villain's plans. I'm- I'm rambling, aren't I? Not again. <laughs> I'm sorry. Hey, don't apologize. I haven't lost interest or anything. Well, I guess it's alright then. But I feel like I should let you know that I- I have this problem. When I let things like books and writing fill my thoughts, I kind of forget to pay attention to other people. 
So I'm sorry if I end up saying something strange. And please stop me if I start talking too much. That's... I really don't think you need to worry. That just means you're passionate about your reading. Passion! <laughs> the least I could do is listen. It's a literature club after all. Ah. Uh, that's... Well, that's true. In fact, I might as well get started reading it, right? You don't have to. <laughs> what are you saying? Just a moment ago, you said you were looking forward to it. <laughs> Let me just get the book. I quick quickly retreat the book that I have put into my bag. Alright. It's fine if I sit here, right? I slip into the seat next to Yuri's. <laughs> I thought that said for something very different. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Are you sure? I seem, I seem a little apprehensive. <laughs> That's... I'm sorry. It's not that I don't want you to. It's just something I'm not very used to. That is, reading in company with someone. I see. Or just tell me if I end up distracting you or anything. Alright. I open the book and start the prologue. I soon understand what Yuri means about reading and company. It's as if I can feel her her presence over my shoulder as I read. It's not a particularly bad thing. Maybe a little distracting, but the feeling is somewhat comfortable, comforting. Yuri is in the corner of my eye. I realize that, I realize that she's not actually looking at her own book. I glance over. It looks like she's reading from my book instead. Sorry. I was just... Yuri, you really apologize a lot, don't you? I do. I don't really mean to. Sorry. I mean... <laughs> Here, this should work, right? I slide my desk until it's up against Yuri's, then I hold the book more between the two of them. Uh, I suppose so. Yuri timidly closes her own copy. <laughs> Once we each lean in a little bit, our shoulders are almost touching. Feels like my left arm is in the way, so instead of using my right hand to hold the book open. Uh, you read that completely I, wrong. I know I did. <laughs> I guess that makes it kind of difficult to turn the page. Here. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, shit. Ooh. Yuri takes her left arm and holds the left side of the book between her thumb and forefinger. Ah. <laughs> so intimate. I do the same with the right arm. I, I do the same with my right arm on the right <laughs> side of the, the book. The right arm that I stole off of this guy from the morgue. <laughs> that way I... <laughs> I turn a page and Yuri slides it under her thumb after it flips to her side. But in holding it like this, we're huddled even closer together than before. It's actually kind of distracting me. It's as if I could feel the warmth of Yuri's face and she's in the corner of my vision. I'm sure you can feel the warmth of something. <laughs> Are you ready? <laughs> eh? To turn the page? Ah, oh, sorry. <laughs> I think I got a bit distracted for a second. I glance over at Yuri's face again, and our eyes meet. What Look huge looking distractions at me. you have? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how <laughs> I'll be able to keep up with her. Uh, that's okay. You're not as used to reading, right? I don't mind being patient if it takes you a little bit longer. It's probably the least I can do. <laughs> since you've been so patient with me. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. I keep right clicking. We continue reading. Yuri no longer asks me if I'm ready to turn the page. Instead, I just assume that she finishes the page before me, so I turn it by my own volition. Yeah, volition. <laughs> we continue the first chapter in silence. Even so, turning each page almost feels feels like an intimate exchange. Yo, we're about to kiss right now. Damn, bro. I'm <laughs> gently letting go of the page, letting it flutter over to her side as she catches it under her own thumb. Hey, Yuri. This might be a silly thought, but 
<laughs> the main character kind of reminds me of you a little bit. You think so? How does she? Well, I guess she's more blunt in a lot of ways. But she also second guesses all of the things that she says and does. Like she's afraid she'll do something wrong. It's not like I could see into her head, into your head or anything. But they're kind of reminiscent of some of your mannerisms. I see. You remain silent for a moment. But Josh, that's probably a terrible thing to have in common with her. Uh, that's so embarrassing that you think that. <laughs> Wait. I didn't mean it in a bad way or anything. Sorry, I really didn't know you were self-conscious about that sort of thing. I am, asshole. <laughs> Nutty. <laughs> I guess I more meant that it's kind of cute. Uh-huh. Why, uh, what are you saying all of a sudden? Uh-huh. Okay, everyone. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I think it's about time we share today's poems with each other. We might not have enough time if we wait too long. Oh. Uh. <laughs> it's half of her voice like Oh. Yuri exhales, spared from finishing her thought. Is that right, Yuri? Is, is that all right? <laughs> Whatever. You look kind of down. I'm sorry if you what haven't been like looking forward to this. Uh, it's not... It's fine. <laughs> Yuri releases her hand from the book, causing it to close on top of my thumb. <laughs> All right. I guess I'll do some more reading tonight. Or would you prefer I only read it with you? Um, I guess I don't have too much of a preference either way. Hmm. In that case, I'll read a little bit more tonight. It'll be more fun to read with you after it picks up a bit, you know? That's good reasoning. In that case, feel free to finish the first two chapters in your own time. Alright. I stand up. I make a mental note of where I left off in the book, then slip it back into my bag. By the way, did you remember to write a poem last night? Y yeah. Yep. My relaxation ends. I can't believe I agreed to do something so embarrassing. I couldn't really find much inspiration since I've never really done this before. Well, now that everyone's ready, why don't you find someone to share with? I can't wait. Salisbury Steak and Monica enthusiastically pull out their poems. Shit House is on a <laughs> wrinkled sheet. Is on a wrinkled sheet of a loose leaf torn from a spiral notebook. On the other hand, Monica wrote hers in a composition notebook. I can already see Monica's pristine handwriting from where I sit. Natsuki and Yuri reluctantly comply as well, reaching into their bags. I do the same myself. Who should I show my poem to first? Yuri? Let's get some Monica time. Fuck Monica. I wouldn't say that. You just missed that. Yeah, just, whatever. I was, read I was reading, now. yeah. <laughs> Well, I mean, they yes. are technically your thoughts. Yesterday, she seemed eager to read my poem, and I want her to know I'm putting in effort. I guess. Having a good time, Tiffany? I definitely didn't do this so that you had to talk to yourself. Oh, uh, yeah. Do you want me to read them? Good. Glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new and everything... Take that as a no. Do you ever have any suggestions for the club? Like new activities? Or things that we could do better? I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring up things. Okay. You should read her voice in a monotone. Trust me. Okay. Alright, I'll keep that in mind. Of course, I'll be afraid to bring things up. I'm much better off just going with the flow until I'm more settled in. Anyway. Want to share your poem with me? It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. Aha, 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 aha. Don't worry, Josh. We're all a little embarrassed today, you know. But it's the sort of barrier that we'll all learn to get past soon. Yeah, that's true. I am Monica, my poem. Mm-hmm. Great job, Josh. 
I was going oh in my head while reading this. It's really metaphorical. That's not what that's about. Whatever. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I can't. My brain can't comprehend some of those fucking words. I'm not sure why, but I didn't expect you to go for something so deep. I guess I underestimated you. It's easiest for me to keep everyone's expectations low. That way it always counts when I put in some effort. Aha, aha, aha. That's not very fair. Well, I guess it worked anyway. You know that Yuri likes this kind of writing, right? <laughs> writing that's full of imaginary and symbolism. Oh, that's right. Imagery. <laughs> hey, if you could go, by all means. I go offered. Ahead, no, I offered ahead, and you go said go no. Ahead. I offered. No, go ahead. Writing that's full of imagery and I symbolism. Already, I already read that. Huh? I already read that part. Well, so you didn't. Your, your, your mouse as well. Oh. Go ahead. Go ahead. There's your mouse. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Unlike uh, Sister Christian, who likes using simple and direct words to describe happiness and sadness, Yuri likes it when readers are left to derive their own meaning out of it. It's very challenging to write like that effectively, <laughs> both allowing people to get something out of it just by feel, or letting them deeply analyze all of the nuances. <laughs> It can take years of practice, which I'm assuming Yuri has at this point. I never really asked, though. I'm sure I'm nowhere near her level yet. Don't worry so much about that. You do your own thing. Just keep exploring and learn by trying new things. I'm sure I'll end up trying new things a lot. Okay. <laughs> it could take a while before I feel comfortable doing this. That's okay. I'd love to see you try new things. That's the best way to find the kind of style that suits you. Everyone else might be a little bit biased toward their own kinds of styles. You're reading really like she's a robot. <laughs> exactly, I absolutely am. But I'll always help you find what suits you the most. <laughs> so don't force yourself to write the way that everyone else wants you to write. It's not like you have to worry about impressing them or anything. Aha uh ha. Aha ha. Anyway, do you want to read my poem now? <laughs> don't worry, I'm not very good. You sound pretty confident for someone who claims to not be very good. Well, dot, dot, dot. That's because I have to sound confident. That doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know? I see. Well, let's read it then. Hole in wall. <laughs> I can read it since it's Monica. All right, good. Hole in wall. It couldn't have been me. See? The direction the spackle protrudes. A noisy neighbor? An angry boyfriend? I'll never know. I wasn't home. I peer inside for a clue. No. I can't see. I reel. Blind. Like a film left out in the sun. But it's too late. My retinas. Already scorched with a permanent copy of the meaningless image. It's just a little hole. It wasn't too bright. It was too deep. Stretching. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. Stretching forever into everything. A hole of infinite choices. I realize now that I wasn't looking in, I was looking out. And he, on the other side, was looking in. So, what do you think? Hmm. It's very freeform, if that's what you call it. Sorry, I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. Ah, uh, ha, ha. It's okay. Yeah. That kind of style has gotten pretty popular nowadays. That is, a lot of poems have been putting emphasis on the timing between words and lines. When performed out loud, it can be really powerful. What was the inspiration behind this one? 
Ah. Uh. Well, I'm not sure if I know how to put it. I guess you could say that I had some kind of epiphany recently. <laughs> it's been influencing my poems a bit. An epiphany? Yeah. Dot, dot, dot. Something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that because it's kind of coming on strongly. <laughs> Maybe after everyone is better friends with each other. Anyway. Here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes when you're writing a poem or a story, your brain gets too fixated on a specific point. If you try so hard to make it perfect, then you'll never make any progress. Just force yourself to get something down on the paper and tidy it up later. Another way to think about it is this. If you keep your pen in the same spot for too long, you'll just get a big dark puddle of ink. So just move your hand and go with the flow. <laughs> That's my advice for today. <laughs> Thanks for listening. <laughs> Alright, I should share my poem to next. Sayori! <laughs> Salisbury steak! <laughs> This is a good poem, Josh. Are you sure it's your first time? Of course. It's not that good. I'm kind of the guy who would be writing poems in his spare time. Wait, am I the kind of guy who would be writing poems in his spare time? <laughs> I guess you're right. But that's why it impressed me. Well, to be honest, I was afraid that you wouldn't be do it seriously. Or that you wouldn't write one at all. I re I'm really happy just that just that you wrote one. It just reminds me how you're really a part of the club now. Not to mention the fact that I'm standing in front of you in the club room. Or, well, of course. I'm not really into it yet. That doesn't mean I'll break my promise. See? It's like I said before, Josh. Deep down, you're not selfish at all, you know? Try new things like this for the people. For other people. That's something that only really good people do. Thanks, salad man. I'm not sure if Sandy sees the full picture of my motive here. Then again, I can't deny that she's part of the reason I joined. Now I know how much this means to her and all. Yeah, and I'm going to make sure you have lots of fun here, okay? That would be my way of thanking you. Alright, I'm going to hold you to that then. Yay! Now you're reading my poem too, right? Don't worry, I'm really bad at this. <laughs> we'll see about that. Oh my god. Dear Sunshine, the way you glow through my blinds in the morning, it makes me feel like you missed me. Kissing my forehead to help me out of bed. Making me rub the sleepy, the sleepy from my eyes. Are you asking me to come out and play? Are you trusting me to wish away a rainy day? I look above, the sky is blue. It's a secret, but I trust you too. If it wasn't for you, I could sleep forever. But I'm not mad. I want breakfast. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> they say Ori. Oh my God, you set her actual I know. What's wrong with you? This is just a guess, but did you wait <laughs> until this morning to write this? No. Uh, no. Just a little bit. <laughs> you can't answer just a little bit to a yes or no question. I forgot to do it last night. Well, at least that makes me feel a little, a little better about myself. Don't be mean. I still tried my best. Uh, yeah. I didn't mean to say it that. I didn't mean to say that it was a bad poem. It came out nice. Or, how should I put it? It sounds like. It, ju it sounds just like you. <laughs> Really? Yeah. Especially that last line. I made eggs and toast. <laughs> Even though you were late to school. It's bad to skip breakfast. I get all cranky. Well, I guess there's no point arguing. Anyway, thanks for showing me. Hey, <laughs> This is so much fun. Monica's the best. Uh, yeah. 
But next time, I won't forget. And I'm gonna write the best poem ever. Well, I guess I look forward to it. Natsuki. Do you have to look at all of them? <laughs> yeah. Can I pause you? Um, I think you should check the, the game files. I will. But right now. I mean, like, while you're playing. Let me save. Like, go into your, like, file explorer. Well, and it won't show on screen. Okay, well, that's fine. I don't even know if it's there yet, but... Let's see. I, I don't even know if this is how I can find it. I don't know if I have to do it through screen or not. Um, read me might be no. Maybe, maybe not. We might not be there yet. Okay. Okay. Sorry, <laughs> Josh. If you're not gonna take this clip seriously, then go home. What? What, you expect me to leave the... the <laughs> you expect me to leave that you actually put effort into this? Do you think I'm stupid? I'm not a writer. Maybe it's not... Uh, maybe it's not very good, but yeah, I did put it in effort. We all started somewhere, right? If you're still proud of the first poem you ever wrote, then I'd like to read it. <laughs> Fine. Well, sorry. You'll get better, anyway. I'd tell you what to improve, but you're better off just trying again. Fair enough. Well, to each their own, I guess. Anyway, I guess I gotta share mine now. Knowing you, you'll probably think it's stupid. Eagles can fly. Monkeys can climb. Crickets can leap. Horses can race. Owls can see. Cheetahs can run. Eagles can fly. People can try. But that's about it. Yeah. <laughs> I told you that you weren't gonna like it. <laughs> I like it. What? <laughs> Just be honest. I am. Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? Well, because everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff. So people don't even take my writing seriously. But isn't, isn't the point of poems for people to express themselves? Your writing style wouldn't make your message any less valid. Yes, exactly! I like when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. Like in this poem. <laughs> Seeing everyone around you who can do great things can be really disheartening. So I decided to write about it. <laughs> yeah, I understand. So deep, but on the other but the no, no, no. but the other nice thing about simple writing is that it puts more weight on the wordplay. Like I set up for a rhyme at the end, but then make it all flat on purpose. It helps bring out the feeling in the last line. So you did. 
I guess more went into it than I realized. Yeah, like I'm a really sophisticated writer. That's what it means to be a pro. I'm glad you learned something. Didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did you? Yeah. I'm a fucking genius. I decided to humor her with that last comment. I don't really care how old everyone is. But if Natsuki is feeling proud, then I won't take that away from her. Should I show my poem to you next? Well, the only fucking person left. Huh. As you read the poem, I notice her eyes lighten. Exceptional. And? What was that? Hmm? Did, did I say that out loud? Yuri first covers her mouth, then ends up covering her whole face. Hi. Uh. He's going to eat me. Um. You really didn't do anything wrong, Yuri. Eh? That's. Uh, I guess you're right. What am I getting so nervous for? Uh. Yuri uh. takes a breath. So. What kind of writing experience do you have? Your use of imagery and metaphors indicates you've written a lot of poetry before. Really? Wow, that's a huge compliment coming from you. This is actually my first time, really. Huh? Um, Yuri stares at me blankly, then looks at my poem again. Hmm. <laughs> well, I know that. I just meant, um, um... Yuri trails off, unable to find excuse. She traces her fingers along the words in the poem, as if breaking it down more thoroughly. Yeah. Okay. This is the reason I was able to tell. It's just that there are specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers. And having been through that myself, I kind of learned to pick up on them. I think the most noticeable thing I recognize in new writers is that they try to make their style very deliberate. In other words, they tend to pick a writing style separate from the topic's matter, and they form fit the two together. The end result is that both the style and the expressiveness are weakened. Once Yuri finds her train of thought, it's as if her demeanor totally changes. Her stammering is complete, completely gone, and she sounds like an expert. Of course, that's not something you can be blamed for. There are so many different skills and techniques that go into writing even a simple poem. Not just finding them and building them, but getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. It might take you some time, but it all comes with practice and learning by example and trying new things. <laughs> God. I also hope that everyone else in the club gives you valuable feed. feed, feed. <laughs> Fifth. <Fifter. laughs> Whoops. Natsuki can be a little bit biased, though. Biased? How? Um. Well. Never mind. I shouldn't be talking about people like that. Sorry. It's fine. I'm not sure if Yuri is apologizing to herself, to me, or to Natsuki. Do you mind if I read your poem now? Please. <laughs> <laughs> sure, you can read yeah. it. <laughs> Please do. I'd love to share my thought process behind it. Yuri smiles dreamingly. As if that's a rare opportunity. What did you just say? Dreamingly. Whatever. As if that's a rare opportunity for her. Which itself is kind of funny. After all, isn't this supposed to be a literature club? God. Ghost under the light. The tendrils of my hair illuminate the breath of... That's not what that said at all. The tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow. I said breath. <laughs> Bathing. It must be this one. The last remaining street. Her handwriting, God! I know. Sheet light. <laughs> to have withstood the test of time. The last yet to be replaced by the sickening blue green hue of the future. I bathe. Cal what in the calmest. <laughs> calmly breathing. Air of the present but living in the past. The light flickers. I flicker back. Mm. Uh, I'm sorry to have such terrible handwriting. Yeah, you yeah. better be sorry. What? I wasn't thinking that at all. I yeah, was. I was. <laughs> but it took you a long time to read. Uh. Because your handwriting sucks. Well, I just don't read script very often. 
Yeah. Your handwriting sucks. I actually think your handwriting is pretty. Even though it sucks. Eh? <laughs> yeah, that's a relief. Also, I like the poem. Even though your handwriting sucks. Even though it's short, it was really descriptive. And your handwriting sucks. It wasn't too short. I usually write longer poems. Not at all. I'm really glad you like it. I'll be honest. Since it's our first time sharing, I wanted to write something a little more mild. Something easy to digest, I suppose. Are you into ghosts, Jerry? <laughs> Actually, the story isn't about a ghost at all, Josh. Really? I must have totally missed the point. Well, I suppose you did only glance over it, after all. But remember that poets often express their own thoughts, feelings, and experiences in the work. They usually do more than tell a simple story or paint a picture. In this case, perhaps the subject of the poem is only being symbolic. <laughs> Symbolophilia. So compared to a ghost. <laughs> Lingering in her last remaining place of comfort, unable to let go of the past. And so to be left with nothing. <laughs> I, I thought that just said in so. <laughs> That's a lot more solemn. So, so putting it that way. Solemn. I haven't even thought of that. That's impressive. Eh? <laughs> it's nothing really. Yours was impressive too, so. Nah. <laughs> if anything, I could probably learn a thing or two from you. You think so? Yeah, of course. Ah. Uh, you know, I was really nervous about doing all this. But in the end, I enjoyed it. I'm going to keep doing my best for you, Josh. Excuse me? Hey, yo. <laughs> hey, yo. Ah. Me too. You're going to be doing the best for you, too. <laughs> Phew. I guess that's everyone. I glanced around the room. That was a little more stressful than I anticipated. It's as if everyone is judging me from my mediocre writing abilities. Even if they're just being nice, there's no way my poems can stand up to their poems. To, to theirs, whatever. This is their scrub after all. I sigh. I guess that's what I ended up getting myself into. Across the room, Salisbury Steak and Monica are happily chatting. My eyes land on Yuri and Atsuki. They generally exchange sheets of paper, sharing their yeah poems. I was I went too fast. My brain just stopped. As I read in tandem, I watch each of their expressions change. Atsuki's eyebrows fewer in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. Because they're like contrasting styles, so Natsuki is like, this is way too advanced, and Yuri's like, oh, she's just a baby. <laughs> the child wrote again. <laughs> oh, that's right. Oh, well, it's in her head, though. What's with this language? Eh? Um, did you say something? Oh, it's nothing. <laughs> Natsuki dismissively returns to the poem to the desk with one hand. Returns to the poem with the desk. Or whatever. I guess you could say it's fancy. Ah, oh, thanks. Yours is cute. Cute? Did you completely miss the symbolism or something? It's clearly about the feeling of giving up. How can that be cute? I know that. I just meant... The language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Eh? You mean you have to try that hard to come up with something nice to say? Thanks, but it really didn't come out nice at all. Um, well, I do have a couple suggestions. Hmm. If I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually liked it. Which people did, by the way. Sananana liked it. <laughs> and Josh did too. So based on that, I'll gladly give you some suggestions of my own. First of all, <laughs> excuse me, I appreciate the offer, but I've spent a long time establishing my writing style. I don't expect it to change anytime soon, unless of course I come across something particularly inspiring, which I haven't yet. Mm -hmm. And Josh liked my poem too, you know. He even told me he was impressed by it. <laughs> Let's see, he suddenly stands Ooh, up. Ooh, the girls oh, are fighting. <laughs> Over me, no I less. feel schizophrenic. <laughs> oh, 
I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. Eh? That's not what I... Uh... Y you're just... Yuri yeah, stands up as well. Ooh. Maybe you're just jealous that Josh appreciates my advice more than he appreciated yours. Huh? And how did you know he didn't appreciate my advice more? Are you that full of yourself? <laughs> I... No. If I was full of myself, I would deliberately go out of my way to make everything I do overly cutesy. Ooh! <laughs> um... <laughs> is everyone okay? <laughs> Well, you know what? I wasn't the one whose boobs magically grew a size bigger as soon as Josh started showing up. N Natsuki. <laughs> um, Natsuki? That's a little. This doesn't involve you. No, 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 no. I don't like fighting guys. Suddenly, both girls turned towards me as if they just noticed I was standing there. Josh. She, she's just trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it. <laughs> if she could get over herself and learn to appreciate that simple writing is more effective, then this wouldn't have happened in the first place. What's the point of making your poems all convoluted for no reason? The meaning should just jump out at the reader and force them not to figure it out. Help me explain that to her, Josh. Wait. <laughs> There's a reason we have so many deep and expressive words in our language. It's the only way to convey complex feelings and meaning the most effectively. Avoiding them is not only unnecessarily limiting yourself, it's also a waste. You understand that, right, Josh? Um. <laughs> um. Well. How did I get dragged into this in the first place? It's not like I know anything about writing. But whoever I agree with will probably think more highly of me. Yuri, Yuri, Yuri. So, of course, that's going to be... Help me, Salisbury Steak! <laughs> Yuri. Natsuki. You're right that I liked your poem. Wait. That's not an excuse for you to be so mean. You shouldn't pick a fight just because someone's opinion is different. That's not what happened at all! Yuri wouldn't even take my poems seriously. Hmm. I understand, Yuri. Uh huh? You're a seriously talented writer. It's no, it's no secret that I was impressed. Well, that's... But here's the thing. No matter how simple or refined someone's writing style is, they're still putting feelings into it, and it becomes something really personal. That's why Natsuki felt threatened when you said her poem was cute. I see. I didn't notice that I... I'm sorry. Ooh. 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 But Natsuki, you took it way too far. Yuri means well, and if you just... You just told her how you felt, then this wouldn't Ooh. have happened in the first place. Are you kidding? That's exactly what I did! It was her that... Natsuki, I think that's enough. You, you both said some things that you didn't mean. <laughs> you both said some things that you didn't mean. Yuri apologized. Don't you think you should, too? <laughs> Natsuki clenches her fist. I'm gonna punch In the you. end, nobody has taken her side. My little baby hand. She's trapped at this point being def defiant only because she can't handle the pressure. I, I end up even feeling bad for her. Um, sometimes when I'm hurt, it helps to take a walk and clean my head. Salisbury State. She didn't need. <laughs> she, I love that that's she just that's to. The, your go to for her name now is Salisbury State. Mm -hmm. Even though it's way longer and. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to do that. <laughs> It'll spare me from having to look at all your faces right now. Without warning, Mitsugi <clears throat> snatches her own poem up from the desk and storms out. On her way out, she crumbles up the poem with her hands and throws it in the trash. Mitsuki. She really didn't <laughs> need to do that. I look across the room. Yuri has her chin buried in her hands while she stares down at her desk. 
I digitally approach her and sit in an adjacent chair. Sigh. <laughs> Everything all right? I just, I'd, love, I'd like to imagine that she actually said it. Sigh. Sigh. Wink, wink. I'm so embarrassed. I can't believe I acted like that. You probably hate me now. No. Yuri! <laughs> How can anyone have gotten frustrated after being treated like that? Not have gotten frustrated. Whatever. You handled it like anyone could. I don't think any of us do. Well, all right, I believe you. Thanks, Josh. You're too kind. I'm thankful to have you as a part of this club now. Er, it's nothing. One more thing. Um, that one thing that Natsuki said <laughs> about, you know... I would never do anything so shameful. <laughs> so... Eh? What thing did then Suki say? Uh, um... Well, never mind that. I'm going to make some tea. Ah, good idea. Make enough... Make enough for more than one person, okay? Yeah. How long is this day? I'm about to just save and come back. Like, okay, everyone. It's just about time for us to leave. Hey, look, asking you shower scene. <laughs> How did you all feel about sharing poems? It was a lot of fun. Well, I'd say it was worth it. It was alright, well, mostly. Josh, Josh how, how about, about you? you? <laughs> yeah, I'd say the same. It was a neat thing to talk about with everyone. Awesome. <laughs> In that case, we'll do the same thing tomorrow. And maybe you learn something from your friends, too. So your poems will turn out even better. Nunny. I think to myself, I did learn a little more about the kinds of poems everyone likes. If any luck, that means I can at least do a better job impressing those I want to impress. I nod to myself with newfound determination. Josh! Read my gum! Sure, let's go. <laughs> Sayori beams at me. It truly really has been a while since Sayori and I have spent this much time together. I can't really say I'm not enjoying it either. Thank God. No, no, no. The day's over. Oh no, wait. Does it? Does the day end when you go to write the poem? Yeah. Oh, okay. Sayori? About what happened earlier? What do you mean? You know, between Yuri and Atsuki. Does that kind of thing happen often? No, no, no! That's really the first time I've ever seen them fight like that. I promise they're both wonderful people. You don't, you don't hate them, do you? No, I don't hate them. I just wanted your opinion, that's all. I can see why they'd make good friends with you. For you! You know, Josh? It's nice that I get to spend time with you in the club. <laughs> Find in me the in the club. club. <laughs> <laughs> but I think seeing you get along with everyone is what makes me the happiest. And I think everyone really likes you too. That's... <laughs> <laughs> Every day is going to be so much fun. <laughs> it looks like Sayori still hasn't caught on to the kind of situation I'm in. Camp it. <laughs> sure, being friends with everyone is nice, but... I don't really need to stop there. We'll just have to see what the future holds, Sayori. I'm gonna have four girlfriends. I pat Sayori on the shoulder. I said that I said that more to myself than to her, but it's easy to use Sayori as an internal monologue sometimes. Okay. Yeah. Let's do this. No, let's not. Let's save. Actually, I want you to look at the files again, because now that the day is done, it might be in there now. Or we might not have been looking in the right place, so. Scroll down. No? Well, go to the... Might be in characters. No. Mm. 
Nope. Alright, well, <laughs> I had a great time. A great time. Do you have fun? Oh, it's a blast. It's, it hasn't gotten good yet, though. I still had a good time. <laughs> who's the woman? Boy, who's the woman in there with you? <laughs> hey, yo, woman. 